Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is the next edition of the Ghostly Tate for Sports Fanatic News YouTube page and for also the Flyers Nitty Gritty YouTube page. Please like, comment, and subscribe to both of those pages. We really do appreciate your support. This is going to be a recap of the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Hershey Bears. 4-1 to win for our Phantoms over the Bears on a four-point night. Um, count it a four-point night uh, for Tyson Forster as he's able to get a goal on the nice... Um, Assist by Wilman that then ended up changing to Garrett Wilson on the first goal on a nice snapshot. He was able to fire in. He was able to get an assist on Puyat's goal off of the stick of a um, Bears defender. And Derek Puyat again has an impressive game as he has just looked good, good, and good uh, this entire season, being a wise veteran for the young, mostly young uh, defense that this Lehigh Valley Phantoms team puts out. And that performs very well night in and night out. Then Forster again in the first period, assisted by Cal O'Reilly and Wade Alson. After a great shot by Alson that Fulcali was not able to handle, that Forster got for the rebound goal. Um, the only goal that the uh, Hershey Bears were able to score was in the third on a deflection by Cody Clark. That Fioravari, who seems to be coming a Phantoms killer that scores against them all the time, was able to get an assist, but it didn't hurt anything because Ryan Fitzgerald was able to score later when he actually got mad. A uh, Forster said at him in post game uh, to tie or to seal the deal, excuse me, and make it four to one. Um, on an empty net because he wanted Forster to get the hat trick and Forster pass it up to him thinking he had the better shot and the better play, which he did. So it was great to see a young player like him already show great leadership and show great play on the ice, having a four-point night th tonight and just looking great out there and getting more and more comfortable as time goes on coming back from his injury and playing his first season in the AHL when he's actually supposed to be in the OHL if they were actually active right now and playing. So... It's great to see his success along with Wisdoms, along with Millman's when he's in the lineup, having these guys be successful up already when they're actually supposed to be playing in the OHL. But first and foremost, um, otherwise too, congratulations to Scott Gordon on being one of the best AHL coaches of all time, being the sixth coach to reach 400 wins. Definitely a big congratulations to him, as well as Zane McIntyre, people that won here for the preview video, on the birth of his daughter. He's becoming a dad, and he showed that dad power tonight. Having 28, sa or excuse me, 27 saves this evening and looking really good at there, looking really poised, looking very great positionally. And he made some very pivotal key saves, like the one when he was down on his butt, the pad save before that one as well, and he made back-to-back -back good save, made a lot of good kick saves. He just looked very poised and very in sync, very in the zone in net. And that's uh, very good for this team when their goaltending has really been key and very... um good this year and very zoned in in most games, especially Zane McIntyre, who's been one of the AHL's best performing goaltenders, and even after not playing since the 14th, continued to look good because of the work of the goalie coaches and because of the work he puts in on and off the ice, um, and that's just pivotal. Uh, we have a great goaltending room. Uh, he talked about that in the post-game press conference, how great uh, all the guys get along between McAdam, uh, Sandstrom, Lyon when he's down, and himself. So I think this team is really in a very, very, very good position, really uh, thrown with a, a lot of depth, um, or ingrained with a lot of depth, I should say, at the goaltender position. But I think this is obviously uh, Tyson Forster's the player of the game on his four-point game. Then you have Zane McIntyre with his dad power, uh, making 27 saves, having a great performance. And then Derek Pouillot would be my third star um, because he just continues to look good, continue to move the puck well for the Phantom, and just continues to f perform at a very high level as a veteran defenseman for this mostly young defense, really helping to keep this young defense together and perform as well as they can, as along with Tyler Watherspoon, who's obviously been around the block for a couple of years now and has performed well for this Phantoms team since coming over here. So I think the play of him, especially on offense, being good on the power play, I think he definitely deserves a big shout out as the Phantoms were able to go one for four on the power play, finally get one against the Bears. They now have five wins against the Bears this season. McIntyre is a Bears killer and looking great overall. Forster had a four point game. Looked fantastic. Mil or Wilman, excuse me, continues to look great, having the assist on the first Forster snapshot goal as he continues to have a great streak of points going. And then again, Cal Wiley, the veterans, continue to look good as he was able to get an assist on the Forster goal. And Garrett Wilson had a fantastic game as well, having a good shot, uh, driving to the slot there, having a lot of good hits, blocking shots. Uh, he's always been a great energizer, pivotal player for this team. So great to see the veterans play well and great to see the Rooks, who before this game scored 52% of Lehigh's goals, uh, which now is going to be more obviously due to Forster um, scoring 
two of the goals tonight. So uh, that was very good to see for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, seeing how great these young guys and the young infusion is doing mixed with this veteran core. But that will be all as a reaction to the great 4-1 to win by the Lehigh Valley Founders. They came out great, had a great first period start. Didn't have as much offense as Funk and Pizzazz in the second period, but the defense looked really good. Everybody was active on their sticks tonight, whether it was on the four-check, stick-checking, blocking, passing lanes. They got in front of the shot, blocked the shots well. Roy defended Zay McIntyre well. And Zay McIntyre, when Nita made the key and pivotal saves, as he's done all, reason and has been, all season and has been one of the best net minders in net in the AHL, so that is what guided them to this win. Forster's four-point evening is the first score. Zay McIntyre having a great night coming back after having his first child. Congratulations to him again. To get Scott Gordon his 400th win, congratulations to him. And then Pouillard is the third star having the goal that went off of the defender for the Hershey Bears. I hope you all enjoyed this recap of the Phantom 4-1 to win uh, in this edition of the Ghostly Take for Sports Fact News and Flyers Nitty Gritty. Again, please comment and subscribe below. We really appreciate the support and hope you all have a great, safe, and pleasant week. And go Phantoms and enjoy all the great hockey action. Peace out, everybody.